I know just the place. facility it's a 40 foot by 25 foot pole barn and uh, yeah so today I wanted to take you guys through a quick review on the uh, Titan Fitness Bison Bar um, a few things I've seen before in videos that are like talking about how it shifts on you you know it, it kind of it slides um, it might not be built as good as the Buffalo bar uh, a few other things with like the ends of the collars coming out and maybe not racking on all the uh, all the racks properly. So um, we're gonna get into all that. So on that note, let's do this. So yeah, real quick, just showing you guys a quick tour of the gym. It does get a little nutty in here, so uh, soak it all in when you can. But yeah, coming down here. Got a lot to review, by the way, but today we're going to do this bar because it is a hot topic bar. All right. So this is the Titan Fitness Yukon bar. The bison bar was number one. It was chrome. Um, that bison bar, it does have... some deviations on the bow to the point where we bought one at, we have two war zones, mascot one, I got one, um, mascot the bison bar, and with the bison bar, it wasn't like symmetrical, to the point where like you could even tell when you were pressing, it was just off like a millimeter, like one ink, like I say millimeter, like one of the, on one side of the shaft, you felt like your hand and your wrist were just slightly off maybe by like half a degree or something where you could just feel it and you're like eh, it's all right whatever so then you, you end up moving one hand inside or outside to accommodate that different angle and it was kind of off, awkward but nonetheless bar still worked and it was a really good deal for ninety dollars so um if you're on a budget you know all you have to do is spend 90 bucks to get that bar for what it does it's not a bad gig um now when they updated this bar that's when things got pretty smooth. Um, this entire shaft is, honestly, I've never had a duffel bar in my hand, so I can't compare it to that, but I've had other bow bars in my hand, and it feels just as good. Um, there's little differences between, like, well, this is a rogue Ohio deadlift bar, so this is a good example. This is going to have a shaft diameter that is on the extremity of the lower end, so that way all folks, whether your hands are you know, as big as mine, or bigger, or not, you know, you're going to be able to grip the bar and get in a massive advantage. Uh, you know, that it starts to get to the point where you close over your thumb, do all sorts of stuff. This bar, on the other hand, though, is quite a bit thick. Um, millimeter wise, I don't know exactly. I think this one's around like 27, 26, and this one's in like the 32 range. So there's a big difference there. It's like five millimeters of difference. And you'll feel it. Um, if you're used to using regular barbells at a gym, uh, cap barbells and stuff, it's not going to feel too much different than, than the, the Yukon bar here, but um, you will notice it. It's just a little bit of a thicker grip. Um, yeah, so on that note, let's get to the nitty gritty here, the sliding. This thing right here, oh wow, it's live. Well, that's because I have roller J-cups. Um, these are tight roller J-cups. When you have this bar on roller J-cups, it automatically slides 
on anything over a 35, I believe. I, I can just I can just show you right now real quick. Um, I got a 45 for you. When I put this 45 on this side, it's going to slide right for you. See that? That's what they're talking about. Not good, especially if you don't see it coming. So if you don't see that coming, that could be dangerous. Wait a minute, there's more. So now I'm going to show you guys where you're going to experience 99.99% of your lifting on a normal Jacob. Three plates might flip the bar, so I'll be careful, but three plates. It ain't sliding. Now I'm just going to get into a quick couple of things of what it can do and be beneficial for. So yeah, um, don't be fooled by people on YouTube um, that are paid by other companies to rag on other companies. Okay, so now that we know that the bar doesn't slide, I also have roller J cups on my bench press rack, so I am in Kato position, I guess, if you want to call it danger zone with this bar, no matter where we go, but I always have the option to slap regular J cups on, so if I wanted to, I can, but it's not a big deal because if you're lifting by yourself, 145, you watch it, it's not going to tip. Two guys lifting together, just be smart and both plays on at the same damn time. So I that part of the concept. Um, so going to regular bench press, you're going to get scapular retraction, yay far, on a bench press, and you're going to be able to drive your elbows yay low on a regular bench press. The bar is going to stop at your chest. What this bar allows you to do is to get even deeper because of the bow. It's going to put more stress on the chest, as you go to press down and up, you're going to feel it. You're coming down, you're getting much more of a deeper range of motion. You get a lot more stress on the outside of the pecs, and then it becomes more difficult of a bench press. So normally, and these are going to stop it from going as low as it can, but even that would be lower than a regular bench press for me. So I'll just do this without these really quick. So, as you're coming down, maybe like right there is a normal bench press for me. 
this far, this allows me to go that much lower, and then back up. Um, let me see something here. I think you guys also need to know that you can deadlift with this bar. So I could be here and coming up, and I could do rat. It's essentially like you put slightly larger 45s on. I'm not going to say it's like wagon wheels. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's close, but it's not. So it is fun to deadlift with. The only thing is with the angle, it feels a little goofy to try and pull with. But um, once you get the gist of it, it's really not that bad. Other things I like to do is bend over rows with it. Uh, it would be like a little bit of a partial range of motion, but uh, you get the idea there. I don't do much curling with it. It's just the opposite of how I want my wrist to be in an angle. So it's putting a lot of external rotation there. So you get like tennis elbow when you strip straight bar curl. That's why they, honestly, I think that's why they went with the easy bar curl to prevent um, people from getting bicep injuries at a higher frequency because uh, if you continue to, you know, pronate or supinate the wrist, it's just going to get worse and worse in that elbow region. So, um, yeah, on that note, talk about, uh, I guess, the last thing we could go over with this bar is two things, build quality and knurling. Uh, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get the knurling on this video. I do have a Note 20, so Samsung, don't let me down. You sons of guns. Uh, all right, so if you can... Uh, I had it focused. There we go. So, as you can see, it it is pretty. It, it's nice. I'm. You get so many people that gripe about this knurling crap. Let me tell you something right now. You ain't deadlifting with this bar. It's got knurling in the center for squats. It is awesome for squats. That's another thing it's good for because you if you have shoulder problems or shoulder mobility issues, um, you know you're not you're not going down as far. So. You know, if you, if you can't get into this position with a normal squat bar, this bar just makes it lower. So it's like a camber bar, and it makes it that much easier to get into position. So a lot of guys would choose to squat with this. Mars bars, yoke bars, you name it. it it's just alleviating shoulder range of motion issues. Uh, not to say that you should stray away from trying to get the range of motion down to be able to get into that position. But, hey, at least you can still squat with a bar and be comfortable. So that's why that bar is good. Um... Eh, they got the little pinch caps on the end for the uh, end caps, which are nice. I never had any issues with them coming off, so um, if anybody was to complain about that, I'd be like, mm, I, whatever. He must be deadlifting a thousand pounds like Eddie Hall, and you're just they're just blowing off the sides. Um, I don't, I don't see an issue with that. The uh, everything's very well made. Now you see, it's not straight like a duffalo bar, but again, it to me. So the duffalo bar is going to get, on a lot of things, I guarantee, and you look at the duffalo bar, it, it usually, it seems to get straight post most of the racks. These bars are very long. Um, they're going to be one of the longest bars in your arsenal, so just be prepared for that, uh, storage-wise, anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys go out and possibly make some gains with this bar. If you have it, go use it some more. If you have not gotten it and you're thinking about getting it, I would highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, on that note, the war zone is out of here.